Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakadosh. And coming back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is By Fire You Shall Be Tried. By Fire You Shall Be Tried. And I like to say Shalom to all our listeners and learners that this will help someone today to seek Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai at all costs. But we will need him. He is the house and the only house. So, I deal about it. Uh, another distributor is getting ready to roll out the Maxine. You know, Pfizer was first now, and this new uh, distributor, which is uh, Madurum, I think that's the name of it. If I'm saying the name right, stops with an M. I deal about it. It's another vaccine that they say is more easily to take. You know, so they say making things very uh, uh, lovely and sound very loving, they enticing, trying to entice. Uh, the children of Israel to take this vaccine. These, they are saying that this will help us, but that deal about it. Uh, in the past, this, this past, all this devil did, this red devil did, was all he did was lie, kill, and destroy, murder, rape, and, 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 and take everything uh, from the children of Israel, you know, from the left hand side. But that deal about it. Now he want us to trust him uh, this time and that he has something that will cause everyone to be well, but no, it will not happen. Through the will and the power, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So, if unrighteous decrees are getting ready to come forth. And I deal about it. We must, we must uh, 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 trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Uh, when he, when when this great hour come upon us, by fire we shall be tried. So we'll get started in the book of Daniel, chapter three, and verse one. We'll start up there to get some edification. What uh, is nothing new under the sun. What happened in 70 AD and Daniel's time it also will happen again at this time. There's nothing new under the sun. So, you know, what was what then is now. So we are getting ready to go back and uh, to be, we are at the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And that great hour of temptation is coming upon us at a, at a rapid pace. And uh, Operation Warp Speed, different things they are trying to implement now. And uh, the ones that's in the know, we're knowing what exactly what he is doing. We are not ignorant of Satan devices. So uh title of today's lesson once again is by fire you shall be tried. So now we get started in the book of Daniel chapter three and we'll start at the top at verse one. One moment. And it reads Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold who height was three score cubit and the and the breaded thereof six cubit and he set it upon the plains of Dura in a province of Babylon. Verse 2, Then Nazarchaneva the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, and the judges, and the treasurers, and the counselors, and the sheriffs of all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nazarchaneva the king had set up. Let's drop down to verse 10. And verse 10 says, Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the sorcery, and the discernment, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. Verse 11, And whoso falleth not down, repeat that again, and whosoever Whoso falleth not down and worship that he should be cast into a mist of a burning furnace, a, a burning fiery furnace. Let's read that again. Uh, Daniel, uh, uh, Daniel chapter 3 and verse 11. And whoso falleth not down and worship that he should be cast in the midst of a burning fiery furnace. So by fire you shall be tried. So that was an unrighteous dis decree that King Nebuchadnezzar had uh, erected this golden image, this false uh, image, this uh, idol that everyone, all nations and tongues should buy, should, should, should fall down after these uh, all type type of music will be played and they should fall down. As they hear that sound, that would be the signal for them to fall down and worship uh, this, this great golden image that was uh, 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 created uh, uh, in his image, but the idea about it, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 that, that by fire you shall be tried. So that's uh, that right there is an unrighteous decree, just like mandatory Maxine. 
the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beast when you read about it in Revelation chapter 13 through 16 and 18, you know, won't be able to buy or sell or whatever. And the ones that uh, the, the, didn't want to be partaker shall be put to death. Also in Daniel time, they, they did not fall down in worship will be uh, put in a fiery furnace. So now we'll start back up in Daniel chapter three and verse uh, 11, I mean, verse 12, so like, and it, it, and it read, there are, are certain Jews whom, who thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Setrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thou, power nor worship the golden image which thou had set up verse 13 daniel chapter 3 and verse 13 then nazareth in his rage and fury commanded to bring set rock Mish meshach and abednego then they brought these men before the king verse 14 nazareth spoke and said unto them it is true O set rock meshach and the Bendigo, do not, do not ye serve my power, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Verse 15. Now, if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sounds of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbuck, a sorcery, and the summer, I all and all kinds of music, ye, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made well. And which I have made well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is who is that uh, uh, power that shall deliver you out of my hands? That's very powerful. That's right upon the time we're coming upon them, you know. So, you know, Meshach, I mean, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They uh they was tried by the fire. By fire ye shall be tried. So they trusted and believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They did not uh worship the false image. You know what I'm saying? They trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They, you know, they getting ready to go through their fiery trial. We are getting ready to go through our fiery trial. Also, the Jacob trouble, a time that we have never seen before. So they were facing death, but they trust and believe in their true power and their true savior, their Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the ideal about the king, uh, king uh, ne uh, never he was he asked him once again, enticed him again. Let's like now, yeah, we we'll entice you again about that Maxine. You know, that there's a good thing to take. Everything will go well. Just take it. You will be able to get X amount of dollar. They will, you know, uh, come up with all types of lying wonders and. And, and high level witchcraft to show that, that these things that they can do for you. If you're blind, you can see again. If you're a, a paraplegic, you cannot walk. You'll be able to walk again. All you have to do is take this 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 Maxine. So at that particular time, uh, King Nazar King Nazar could never, even though it was a different time in a different situation, but it was a fiery trial. The same thing was back then. There's nothing new under the sun. It's getting ready to happen again. So uh, Cedric. Uh, Meshach and Abednego they did not fold they would, would not be partaker they were a part of the elect so the idea about it they said no they would not they believed in their true power was Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai so now we'll start back up to get more edification we'll start back up in Daniel chapter 3 and verse 16 we'll start back up there we'll continue Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego answered and said to the king O Nazareth we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Verse 17, if it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and will deliver us out of thy hands, O king. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So they told the king, they are not careful and they asked, they, they answered him quickly and let him know that we will, we are not afraid. We believe and we trust and believe in our power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They didn't, they didn't care what the king did to them. They did not care right now. We must not bend. We must not fold. We must constantly trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Unrighteous decree. They're getting ready to come with high level witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? Mandatory Maxine. 
mandatory RFD microchip with the fact that the market chip do not take, do not be in the fold. The fiery trials that come by fire, you shall be tried. So that is the title of the day lesson. Uh, 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 Shedrock, Meshach, and Abednego, they did not be in the fold because they were the part of, uh, uh, part of the house of David. They would stand up tall. So now we'll start back up in Daniel chapter 3. And we'll start back up at uh, verse uh, 17. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. Verse 18. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy, thy power nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So even in death, if they had to die, if they Lord did deliver them, they still told King Nebuchadnezzar that they would not worship under any circumstance. They will trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Whether he delivered them or not, they will, will go to their death. Just like Yahweh Shai got on the cross and shed his precious blood for the elect. The same we must do. Be a living sacrifice regardless of what's getting ready to come. We are not afraid and we are, we are, we are not ignorant of Satan's device. So now we'll start back up in uh, 2 Daniel chapter 3. We'll start up back at uh, verse 19. Then was Nazcanever full of fury and and form and, and, and the form of his vision, vision, his face was changed against Seshrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spoke and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was was wont to be heated than it uh, normally be heated verse 20 and he commanded the the most mighty men that were in his army bind Cedric, meshach and abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace verse 21 then these men were bound in their coats and their horses and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Verse 22, therefore, because the king commanded uh, was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot and the flames of the fires uh, slew those men that took up Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego. So the ideal about it, they were thrown in that fiery furnace seven times hotter than normal. And the men that threw threw them in with all they belonging, their clothing, what they had on, whatever what they had, they threw all that in with them. And the ideal about it, they fell down in that fiery furnace. But they constantly was believing in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, regardless what the king said, the unrighteous decree, they did not bend, they did not fall because they were a part of the elect. The same thing will happen today. We must trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And you go to Ezekiel, a precept of that, Ezekiel chapter uh, uh, 33 and 33. He said, then shall they know that a, a prophet uh, was among them. So they was prophets. They, you know, they trust and believe in Yahweh about Shem, Yahweh Shah. They had that great wisdom and knowledge that only come from above, from the most high. So now we'll start back up. We'll start back up in, uh, uh, we'll start back up at verse 24. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and, and spoke and said unto the counselor, did not we cast three men bound unto the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, true, O king. Verse 25, he answered and said, lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and form and, 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 and form and forth is like, and the fourth man is like the son of, or the most high. So the idea about it, he was amazed what had happened. They were thrown in that fiery furnace. You know, by fire you shall be tried. And the idea about it, they trusted and believed in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And he came and he delivered them in that midst of that fire. They was walking around unharmed, unburned, unsinned, nothing. A uh, 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 hair on their body was not sin. No smoke smell, no burning. So the idea about it, we trust just the same. Uh, 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 power was back then. It's the same today. He's the same uh, 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 yesterday, today. I mean, uh, if yesterday and today. You know, so the ideal about it, he does not change. He he is the same forever. 
So the ideal about he delivered them uh, Shiprock, Mishak, and Abednego, even though that fiery trial that they was on, they went through it. They trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And we'll get a, a quick precept. We'll go to Hebrews. Get a little bit more edification. Let's go to uh, Hebrews chapter uh, 13. One moment. Let's go to Hebrews. One moment. One moment. Hebrews chapter 13 at verse 6. Let's get a little edification there. And it reads, it says, so that so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. So, I deal about it. They did not care what the king, and what, what happened to them. They didn't care nothing about their life. Even in death, they trusted and believed in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and they trusted that he would deliver them, and he did. He came in the midst of the fire. You know what I'm saying? He surrounded the fire. He was with them, holding their hands, comfort them. So now we'll start back up in Daniel's. Let's go back to Daniel's chapter 3 and we'll start back up at verse 25. Daniel chapter 3 and verse 25. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of the most high. Verse 26, Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High, come forth and come hither. Then uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. They came out of the fire. Verse 27, and the princes, the governors, and the captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies and fire and, and no power, nor was in in and hair of their head seen, neither were their their coats uh charred, nor the smell of, of fire has passed through them. Verse 26. Then Nazca never spoke and said, Blessed be uh the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo, who has sent his angel and delivered his servant and that trusted in him and have uh, changed, changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any power except their own power. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So the ideal about it, the king seen that they were not harmed and that, 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 uh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah delivered them in that great uh, fiery trial, you know, they were facing death. They did not care. They did not uh, 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 fold a bin. They were thrown in that fire and they were tried. And Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, he delivered them. He is their helper. He did, he helped them. So, so he's in control of all things. And the king Nebuchadnezzar, he, he had to go against his own word and have another decree and let them say, can no one come against uh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, called this power is no power greater than him, which in fact is no power in the universe greater than Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So the king uh, seen that they trust and believe in their true power. And so he made a decree that they could worship their own power, which in fact was Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So now we'll go to Revelation chapter 3 to get a precept to that. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10. One moment. Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. And verse 10. And it read, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So in that great hour of temptation, that great hour that Shadrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego, that great hour that came upon them, the Lord kept them. He delivered them because they trusted and believed in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. So in Revelation chapter 13, you won't be able to buy or sell mandatory vaccines, uh, mandatory uh, 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 lockdown. Uh, they were going to have mandatory uh, uh, concentration camp. This is coming up. He's bringing it in with gradualism, you know. The ideal about it, you know, they have this another distributor of the vaccine. But the ideal about it, 
uh, we must trust and believe in that great hour he would keep us and deliver us from that from from any type of fiery trial that we come to by fire you shall be tried is the title of the lesson so i hope that you was edified by that by 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 uh the, the trial that meshach and, and, and uh, uh shadrach meshach and abednego that they went through that 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 would build your faith that he is the same power then he is now he's the same forever and forever so now we'll go to uh Let's go to uh, 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 let's go to Zechariah chapter thirteen. Let's go to Zechariah chapter thirteen. One moment, Zechariah chapter thirteen and verse eight. Zechariah chapter thirteen and verse eight, and it reads, "And it shall come to pass that in all the land, says the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein." Verse nine. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall be called my, they shall call on my name and I will hear them. And I will say it is my, is, is my people. And they shall say the Lord is my power. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. So by fire you shall be tried. So whatever that come upon us, uh, 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 the RFD microchip, which in fact the market to be a mandatory vaccine, they're getting ready to come by spring of a uh, 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 summertime, the, the, the general population. So you will have to make a decision by fire, you shall be tried. So that's the title of the day's lesson. And I hope that this helps someone today that they'll come back to their true power and he will deliver you in time of trouble. And that great time of temptation is coming upon us at a rapid pace. That I hope that you learn something that will build. Each and every one of your faith that you come back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Our salvation is very close than we yet believe. And uh, I like to say uh, Shalom to all our listeners and learners. But I like for right now, I like to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rekakadash. And I like to say Shalom.